Hi and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. It's the end of the month so it's time to have a quick look and see what's been happening during the month of October. Before we get started, just a quick reminder, it's the Northwest Cichlid Group's auction on Sunday the 7th of November. Here's the leaflet. Hope to see you there. Just a quick uh, look at the Costa Rican tank. Um, nothing's changed in here. Uh, I've still not got round to doing the aquascaping. Um, I probably will do after next weekend, after the auction next weekend. Um, so yeah, it's still the, the, the Passionis and the Nicaragua Gwens, the Tuba, the Robert Stone Eye. Yeah, nothing's changed in here. Uh, the main air eye there at the back somewhere. So they're all waiting to be fed. <laughs> yeah, the passy honest, they're all putting on some size now, so it is about time that they started pairing up. <laughs> yeah, they are really nice fish. the tuba they put on a little bit of size <laughs> the female Nicaragua Gwens the Robert Stone Eye there is the male Nicaragua Gwens so I'm quite surprised really they've not shown any signs of uh, breeding yet quick look at the Lewis Eli tank with the Cuban cichlids and the female Nicaragua Gwens so, as you can see, they're starting to put on a little bit of size. Yeah, so there is seven of them in this tank. Yeah, so I'm hoping I've got a pair of Cubans. Yeah, the, the patterns in the blue Salai or the Fred the Starley, as they should uh, really be called. You know, they, they are quite amazing. Yeah, Nick, like when she seems to be the boss of the tank. <laughs> Nice, so no change in this tank. Uh, th believe it or not, they haven't actually uh, tried to spawn this month. Um, I've got the divider in, as you can see, and there's a gap at the bottom for the female, but she, she won't stay over this side anymore. Um, she actually stays behind that rock at the, the, the bogwood at the back. But it is all coloured up, so uh, probably won't be too long before he starts looking for her to, to start uh, trying to spawn again. Yeah, it's Steph's grow out tank. Um, so it, it's got the, the Morai, the dolphin cichlids in there, and the, the Alnacara, and the Ruben Reds. So I think she's actually got these booked in for the auction at the weekend. Um, there's a load of bristle noses in here as well. Uh, they're all hiding at the minute, but there is about 20 in the tank. Let's see if we can get a close up of them. This is one of the grow out tanks. So this has also got the pair of Sajaka in there uh, who actually did spawn this month. Uh, but with the tank being so busy, I, I wasn't able to uh, get any of the fry. Uh, the bow core tire in here as well. Uh, and the Amatellini outer fluvi. Uh, they actually spawned um, behind this piece of bogwood. So I put a quick picture up of them actually in breeding dress. So the cutter eye are going in the auction this weekend. So um, and the Nicaragua Gwens, uh, the youngsters, the grow outs. So yeah, hopefully I should have a bit of room in this tank and uh, let them settle down to actually doing some breeding. Yeah, the bull core tank, they're still uh, they're still only small yet, not showing uh, much colour. The, the, the patterns are starting to come up on them on the sides. Tapachas redheads. There's one of the auto flu by in the pot. So, this 
the South American tank with the uh, with the geophagus and the chocolate cichlids. Uh, so there's the two pair of chocolate cichlids, and the the West Africans, the the, um, the buffalo heads and the tianti. So let's see if we can get a close up of the. So there's actually three of those, and uh, there's two of the Tianti. Yeah, there's, there's one of the Tianti. So they are quite big, those now. Yeah, the chocolate cichlids. Uh, so they're, they're spawning quite regularly in the, in the pot there, uh, and there's another pair as well on the other end of the tank. Uh, so th they've been laying eggs. Um, you may remember from last month, I actually did the, the, the I managed to catch a load of the regulars um, and put them in a separate tank, but I've not been very successful raising them. Um, so that's the second time. The first time I tried it, uh, there was only three or four that managed to grow on, and I've got one left. And the second time, uh, there was quite a few of them. Um, but yeah, they, they're down to about three or four of them as well. So yeah, they, they are quite difficult to raise. The chocolates, they have got half a tank each. <laughs> yeah, the minor eye fries, so they're coming on quite well. Yeah, it's a couple of months old now. Try and close in on it. I yeah, need to water change this one. Yeah, so be another couple of months yet before they're, they're up to size to actually um, start taking around the fish shops. Yeah, they, they, they have grown quite well, these ones are uh, quite quick as well, like much quicker than my first, my first batch. This blur uh, pair would fry, um, so I put a little bit of b-roll of that that I took uh, earlier on in the month. Parents are really skittish, they, they, they change, stay behind the bogwood uh, most of the time. But as you can see, there is, a, there is quite a lot of fry. A real drastic difference uh, when they're in the, the, the breeding dress uh, to what they look like normally. Yeah, so this is the tank with the, uh, with the rainbows, uh, my original breeding a group of rainbows on the uh, Thomas Sickler Asfraki and believe it or not I had a uh, bad news with the Asfraki and um, the same thing happened again and um, actually I treated the tank with the uh, absolute CT uh, which seems to have cleared it up and um, so I'm, I'm left with three of them uh, but unfortunately I did lose three so I'm just hoping that there is a pair in here Again, I'll put a little bit of bit of B-roll in as than I did that last week.
the rainbows being rainbows, um, they've actually spawned. Um, they're still um, like Neotropolis in there from ages ago. <laughs> Coloration in the rainbows, though they, they, they go like that really vivid yellow when the when the spawning. I show you my other group in a moment. You see the difference. Don't know whether you'll be able to make out uh, the, the fish in this tank. I actually got a pair of sword tails, the Montezuma sword tails, uh, and unfortunately they actually jumped out the tank. Um, and I had a load of uh, spawner mops in there. The, the spawner mops. So yeah, the, the pedants actually jumped out the tank and when I was getting ready to clear her out, I actually found some fry. So uh, yeah, I was quite pleased with that. So yeah, I'm hoping that these grow on and I can actually get a couple of pears out of them. Yeah, they're, they're doing really well, the fry. Just have to make sure that they don't jump out. Um, you can see the, the glass at the top, it doesn't quite reach all the way to the back. There's about a half inch uh, gap. Yeah, I've lost quite a few fish that way, um, tightly. So yeah, I'll have to stop putting them in these tanks. <laughs> the tank next to it, that's the one with the Carulius in and the, uh, the, the Salvini. Uh, so they're ready to move on into a bigger tank now. Uh, so uh, after the auction, when I've got a bit of room, I'll, uh, I'll move them on and uh, try and get some growth on them. The Salvini, they're all hide at the moment, but yeah, they're starting to get the, the typical Salvini pattern now, so they, they look quite nice. And yeah, and these are the, the uh, Carulius. Like they're, they're a bit more elongated than the Salvini, so yeah, they are quite easy to uh, tell apart. Yeah, so these are the grow out of the uh, the VR Fenestratus, uh, the, the pink variety. As you can see, some of them, they, they are starting to go a different colour now. Uh, there's a couple of cutter right in there as well, <laughs> just ignore those. But yeah, you can see like some of them, they, they are getting that, um, that different colour. Uh, there's a couple of carpentae in here as well. Yeah, so with the Fenestratum, so yeah, I'll, I'll be taking them up to Predator Aquatics in the next week or so. Yeah, so in this tank, it's the Cutter Eye, uh, the, the normal colour of the Venestratus, and there's the, yeah, the, the, the odd Neotropolis. And a load of the Geophagus standectori, uh, you might remember from, from about March or April uh, when I had, the, the, there was actually two spawnings I had uh, with both of the females. Yeah, so they're, they're up to size now and there's a couple of uh, pairs of mine here as well, so yeah, they'll be going in the auction this weekend. Fenestratus is starting to colour up. <laughs> So this is my Texas tank. Uh, these are featured in quite a few videos lately. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're doing quite well, growing on quite well. Yeah, so the, the pair of Neotropolis, um, yeah, there's one of them. So yeah, they, they have actually um, got some fry there. Um, I don't know whether we're going to be lucky enough to see any, but yeah, they, they have got some fry behind the rock. So they're only a young pair of these, but yeah, they, they, they've stayed the, uh, in, in the breeding coloration. There's a few more, yeah, they're waiting to be fed. <laughs> and the minor eye as well, there's, uh, there's quite a few pairs of those in there. Uh, they've not started to pair off yet, they're, they're probably still a bit young. And the carpenters, did yeah, they? They're growing on really well in this tank. I 
the last tank to have a look at today. So these are the uh, the, the youngsters of the, uh, the the rainbow cichlids. Uh, as you can see, like this is the normal coloration, and once they pair off and uh, they, they start getting interested in spawning or have eggs, like they do go that vivid yellow color. Yeah, we've got um, what they've actually done. They've they've laid eggs on the uh, on the glass again at the side. Um, and yeah, this this is why yeah, and the, like the this colour. So yeah, they still got the vivid yellow, but they go a lot darker on the bottom. So see if we can see any. Uh, the the eggs they only just hatch, so they'd be hiding them somewhere, uh, probably in that pot. And the parents keeping everything else away. And then we breed and pair the Neotropolis. Yeah, we, we breed and trio of, um, of Cutteri. So the colours in the Cutteri? They're all yellows and golds. They are really colourful. So that's the female, the smaller one. So she's sort of, looks like she's interested in breeding. She's sort of going into breeding dress and she's got two males to choose from so yeah they're, they're not in the breeding dress <laughs> hope you enjoyed watching the video and um, if you haven't already please do hit subscribe press the bell notification the thumbs up button leave a comment all that sort of thing and i'll see you on the next video